So hello, my name is Torod Wigum and I live in Trondheim uh, and I work, as earlier mentioned, as an uh, orchestra conductor. I have played in orchestra for many years, but the last 10 years I have been full-time uh, orchestra conductor. So this is my professional home you see now in, uh, in Trondheim with the Trondheim Symphony Orchestra. And when I got uh, involved in the Cultitude 62-63, I started to think uh, it would be interesting to find out all the orchestras that exist along our two latitudes. So I started to, uh, to search east to go to Sweden and in Umeå. It's quite fantastic. Up north in Sweden they have a whole opera, Norlands Opera with a quite big and very good uh, symphony and opera orchestra. And then also in Sundsvall, there's a smaller orchestra, uh, Nordiska Kammarorkestern, the Nordic Chamber Orchestra. And in addition to this in Sweden, it's, uh, I can mention the great composer from Östersund or from Frösjön, Wilhelm Peterson Berger, in this, uh, in this line of orchestras. Finland, I made a contact when we were in Vasa in January with the Vasa City Orchestra and I have a connection now with one of the musicians, an oboe player and also with the managing director. I had a meeting with her. In Finland, I learned in Vasa, it's quite amazing in Finland how many orchestras you have. So here you can see along only the two latitudes of 62-63, there in addition to Vasa there are five other orchestras. As you can see here in Nieveskile, Kuopio, Seinajoki, Juensu, and Jakobstad. And now it's quite uh, exciting to go further east to Russia in Yakutsk. There is actually a Philharmonic Orchestra. I have no idea how good they are or not, or how often they play or anything. But still, another orchestra along our latitudes. And then, in Alaska, look at this fabulous concert hall. I found the picture. This is the hall of the Anchorage Symphony Orchestra. I really would love to go there to conduct at some point. I can imagine it's very nice. And then it's difficult in Canada, as we know, because uh, it's not many people living um, at these latitudes in Canada. But as we know from before, in Yellowknife, there is an art and culture center, no orchestra, but I'm sure at some point there will be, or there are some musicians there. Maybe we can connect there as well. Greenland, no orchestra as far as I know, at least not a, a professional orchestra as we know it, but they have a fantastic cultural house in Nuuk, Greenland. That can be the Greenland connection in, uh, in this network of orchestras. Look at the fabulous concert hall in Reykjavik called Harpa, quite new. They have a great, brilliant orchestra, the Iceland Symphony Orchestra, which, in, which is in the same latitude here again in Reykjavik. And the small but nice Faroe Islands, they, are, uh, they, don't, they have a semi-professional symphony orchestra there, playing part-time, few concerts uh, a year. I know many of the concerts are held in the Nordic House in Tusham. That's the whole circle. So I have this idea to make an orchestra network, if the orchestras want to, to exchange anything, uh, more or less, to get more, to know more the composers, the music along these uh, latitudes. And my big dream is, in 10 years maybe, to have 10 of these orchestras, find 10 composers from the area that write music, 10 movements, and this will represent the symphonic sound of latitude 62, 63, and the name of this is, of course, Symphitude 62-63. So that's the ID. I have been in touch, as I said, in Vasa and also with Iceland Symphony Orchestra. They are both, they think this is a brilliant ID. So the future will uh, show 
if we had an art dinner in 10 years, can hear a whole symphony. Thanks. Thank